Hello, this is Aspect. Today we're going to be going over uh, Applied Energistics 2, which is a Minecraft mod. Uh, I'm currently in uh, Minecraft 1.16.1, um, and I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube for this, and they, they go complicated pretty quickly, so I decided I would take it upon myself to make a little bit of an easier, understandable tutorial if I can. Uh, today's episode is just going to be basic stuff, so what's generated in your world, the basic items you can make, uh, crystals, which are you're going to need those for everything else in the mod. Uh, the power, cables, and then printed circuits and processors. And most of these things are just crafting ingredients you'll need for the later, more complicated things. So all we're going over today is the most basic stuff in Applied Energistics 2. So to start, you'll have a few different things in your world that will generate from this mod. The first being Certus Quartz, that's this here. You'll rarely, rarely find charged or discords, and you'll need a little bit of that. It's a lot rarer. And of course, Skystone, which is part of the meteorites. I'll explain what that's for later. And of course, you'll need nether quartz, but that's a normal Minecraft thing. So to start, you'll need some tools. And you can you can make normal tools out of these, but you'll really just need these last two. And the wrench is pretty important. Um, but these are all just made from Certus Quartz, and so you can make these normally, just with a stick, Certus Quartz. Normal Minecraft tools, you can make all of these with Certus Quartz. And the wrench is made with five, just like that. And of course the cutting is made with these two right there, and then an iron ingot, and that's how you're going to make the cutting knife. And the cutting knife is not really used till later, um, but I'll explain what that does. And so the first thing you're probably going to make from the mod is it's called a grindstone. And this is going to be an early game way to get more out of your ores than you normally would. So to craft this, you're going to need a gear, some more Certus Quartz, and some stone. And the gear is just made with sticks, just like that. You'll also need a crank. And this is, can be used uh, to basically provide early game power without actually having power. So let's say I want to grind this iron ore into dust, which is what this is for, all I'm going to do is I'm going to shift click with the crank on top to put it on top of the grindstone and hold right click. And you'll, you'll do this for a little bit, but as you can see it's going to start grinding it into iron dust. And each one of these you're going to get is going to give you an iron dust and sometimes it'll give you two iron dust. And smelting the iron dust will turn it to an ingot. So if I get a furnace and of course get some coal you can go ahead and smelt any of this stuff into iron ingots and you'll get more bang for your buck. So I put 32 ore into here. And of course I can take this out. As you can see, I'm getting, you know, seven dust out of, I've only used, you know, like five or six of these. So I, I'm getting more iron ingots out of the ore using the grindstone. And you'll also need sort of, uh, you'll need dust from this grindstone of, of certain aspects so you'll probably need uh, quartz dust you'll need you'll need different types of dust for later recipes the next part i want to go over is what's called the flux crystal that's this purple crystal right here now the flux crystal is created with not necessarily a crafting table you're actually going to need the charged surface quartz so you'll need to find one of these which are a little rarer so that might take a little bit you'll need some normal nether quartz and some redstone and once you have all those, you're going to throw the charred surface quartz, the normal nether quartz, and a redstone into water. And it'll give you this nice little animation, and you'll get flux crystals. And you'll need these for lots of later crafting recipes, but to make them, all you need, again, is just that, this, and that, all in water. And that should give you two crystals. The next thing I want to go over is once you've found one of these charged ones, you can charge them all later using the charger. Now to craft the charger, you're going to need two of these from earlier, and then just some iron. And you're going to take a normal Certus Quartz crystal and place it in the charger. So as you can see, it's in there now. And you'll also need a wooden crank to power this originally. Later, you can use the, the other type of power, but we'll go over that. And just to start, you could crank this, and you can charge up a crystal so that you don't have to find that rare ore anymore which is really useful because it takes a while to find. And there you go, you can see this is charged up now, so I'm all good to use this for whatever recipes I need. Now the next thing I want to go over is meteorites. So you'll eventually craft a meteorite compass. You're going to need a charged crystal and four iron, and you're going to get this compass. So this will point to the nearest meteorite in your world. This is a generated structure, 
and I'm going to go ahead and teleport this now. Although if it spins slowly like it is in this item frame, that means that within around 3,000 blocks there is no meteors, and you're going to have to sprint and find one for yourself. And if it spins really fast, that means it's in the exact chunk that you're in. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport over now. Here you can see a meteorite that I found. So it's down there. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Now one thing to note is you can't mine this sky stone here without a diamond pickaxe. So you're going to need one of those first. And what you're really going for is what's inside of these. In the middle, you're going to find a chest. And this sky stone chest is kind of hard to see, so I've placed a torch here. And here you're going to find sort of these... You, there's four different versions of these presses. And you're going to need all four of these eventually. So I'd recommend trying to find all four. Um, but just take which ones you can and find meteorites when, when you can because it's pretty useful and you'll need those presses. And meteorites can also be underground and that's where that compass is useful when it spins very fast. You might be above one so you're going to have to dig down and find it into the ground and get the chest from there. So you'll need those presses. Let me head on back over. Alright, so power. As I explained earlier for the charger, and I don't think the grindstone works with power, but you're gonna need you're gonna need power for your later systems. And you can use power from other mods using this energy acceptor here. But to make all this you need glass. And quartz glass is pretty simple. You need just normal glass and certus quartz dust. So that certus quartz you get, you're gonna have to grind it down with the grindstone to make dust and then use that to make the glass. Next, you're going to want to make an energy acceptor, and this can accept energy from either the normal AE2 uh, power generator, and this is the only generator for power in the in this mod, but you can also accept power from other mods, being Ender IO or any other mods that have power in them. This acceptor can accept power from there. To craft it, you'll just need a flux crystal, four quartz glass, and some iron. And next, I'll go over the the energy cell. So this is essentially a battery and all this is going to do is store power. So if I have a vibration chamber, which is a way to smelt, basically a way to smelt any burnable item into power, I can make a cell with fluix dust, some glass, and certus quartz, and I can make one of these furnaces with an energy acceptor, one of these, some iron, and furnace. So if I go ahead and put five coal into here, you can see it's going to light up, and this is charging now. And you can't really see it, but there's power going into this. And so, yeah, that's essentially that basic way to generate power. You can put power into batteries with the furnace, and this can be any burnable item. So coal, it can be wood, it can be anything along those lines. Next, I want to go over cables. So these are essentially the way you're going to connect everything in your system. and Cables originally are just going to be used for power, so here I'm powering this with a normal cable. And to craft cables, you're going to need this quartz fiber. Quartz fiber is pretty simple to make. It's just some glass, and again, the is quartz dust. It's a similar recipe to the glass, but it's a smaller thing, and it's a little different. Um, and the first thing you're going to want to make is the normal glass cable. You'll get four of these from this crafting recipe, so you just need the quartz fiber from here, two flukes crystals, and that's going to make you the generic glass cable. And this is the most common used one. Uh, you'll use this for just anything. It's, it's pretty universal. And to make this next one, this is called a smart cable, and I'll explain exactly what you'll need these for later, but all you need to know for now is to craft it, you'll need covered cable, which is just a version of the glass cable with wool on it, um, it just looks a little nicer, and you'll need some redstone glowstone to make the smart one. Another thing I want to note is all of these cables can be colored. So you can, you can get any color of these cables, and the reason you'd want to cover this is essentially the colored ones don't connect. So all of them connect to the Fluix cable, but the colored ones themselves won't connect to each other, and you can use this to make you know, different, different systems that work independently so that they don't connect to each other and mess everything up. And last but not least, you have the dense cable, the thickest of them all. And this cable is essentially just the smart cable, but with more channels. And channels, I'll explain later, it's a little bit more of an advanced topic. But for now, all you need to know is 
these are the three types of cables that we have in applied energistics. All right, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to know is how to make pure versions of the crystals we discussed earlier. And the way you wanna do that is by growing seeds. So I'll go down to our uh, definitely not meth lab. Um, so the way you're gonna to wanna to make these seeds is you're just gonna mix some dust of that respective crystal. So for example, a fluix crystal seed, you're just gonna put dust and some sand and that'll give you the fluix seed. And the way you grow these is you simply throw them in water and they won't despawn, so you can leave this in here as long as you want. However, the normal seed without uh, accelerators will take a few hours to fully grow into a pure crystal, which looks like this. These are the three pure crystals you can get, nether quartz, certus quartz, and fluix. And so that'll take a long time to grow. Um, so you're gonna need accelerators, which I'll explain in a minute, but just normal growing, you just make the seed and toss it in water and wait a long time. And you'll need the pure ones for certain crafting recipes. So that's what you'll need these for. The next one you're going to want is the Sirtis Quartz Seed, which obviously is just made with sand and Sirtis Quartz Dust. And of course, the Nether Quartz Seed, which is the same Nether Quartz Sand. And I'm going to grab this one for showing you the accelerators. Now, we explain cables, we explain the furnaces, and these here are called crystal growth accelerators. So you can make these by doing four flux crystals into a block, right, flux block, and then you use the block, two cables, and some glass, all explained earlier, and some iron to make these growth accelerators. And you can put four of these around some water. Um, I'm fairly certain you can put them on top and below as well, but it's pretty impractical. Um, and then you just need it connected with cables for power. This can be any type of cable. And of course, something to generate power. So with four of these, this the process is much, much faster. And I'll go ahead and show you that now. So if I power this up, you can see that it'll start working. So there's these you know zap animations around this and these will start growing immediately. So this should only take a few minutes. I'll go ahead and speed this clip up so you can see the full growing process. All right, as you can see, these things are very close to being done and it's at 71%. So it really takes a short amount of time to make these into pure crystals. Um, so that'll take you a few minutes with full uh, full accelerators around it. So that's a pretty useful feature if you don't wanna wait hours for your seeds to grow into pure crystals. All right, so let's move on to probably the most uh, complicated part of this video. So using all the previous crafting ingredients, you're gonna need these advanced components to move on to the next part. So this is where those presses I talked about in the Meteor come in handy. You'll need all four, the silicon, the engineering, calculation, and logic press. And you'll also need this machine called the inscriber. To craft that, you're gonna need a flux crystal, two sticky pistons, and some iron ingots. Once you've made your inscriber, you'll uh, sort of need to figure out later what kind of of these uh, circuits you'll need. But most likely you'll need these ones, which are the most complicated ones. And firstly, you're going to need silicon. Silicon is pretty easy to make. Uh, just in a furnace, you're going to smelt nether quartz dust. And that's just that's kind of going to make silicon pretty easy. Um, but these ones, these later ones, are a little harder. And for this demonstration, I've attached a uh, creative energy cell, which is attached by cable to these. So you will need power for these to work. Um, I've got infinite power here, so I'll show you now exactly, actually, I think I have, yeah, I have some here, exactly how this is gonna work. And these, uh, these essentially are gonna be the base materials you'll need for these. And as you can see, you'll need, um, each different type does something different. Um, but all of them need to be put on a silicon base. And so your silicon is almost gonna be your plate and this is gonna be your food. And your redstone is sorta of gonna be your, your salt and pepper. You always want salt and pepper on your food, but you're gonna need a plate and you're gonna need a different type of food depending on what you're doing. And you'll see later just different recipes use different, you know, one of these, one, one recipe might use the diamond one, one, one might use the gold one, it just depends. But I'll show you now, you just put the uh, press in the top, put the gold ingot, and if it has power, 
it'll start making your circuit. And there you can see printed logic circuit, I've got what I need. And the same thing with the pure certus quartz. So that's, as I said, you need to grow those crystals pure to make this one, and of course a diamond in this last one. Um, that is not the right one. This needs an engineering press, not a not a, a calculation one. There we go. The calculation is the uh, is the the certus quartz, and of course the engineering is the diamond. So you've got logic, which is gold. You've got calculation, which is uh, nether quartz, and engineering, which is diamond. Um, I really just call them diamond quartz and, and gold. You can call them by the other names, but really the only way you need to know that is for these presses. So then you've also got your silica press, of course. And to make that simple, same thing, you just put the silicon in to the inscriber with power. And they've got your plates for your food, so 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 I would call it. Now this next part is just going to be the same thing, except you're going to need to combine them all into the more advanced parts. So these processors are just the more advanced versions of the circuits. And to make the processors, you're going to need a silicon for each one of these. So as I said, your plate. And you're going to need your food, so you're going to need your, your circuit. And each one of these needs redstone in the middle. If you put all three of them in, it'll create your processor. And those will be used for some more advanced uh, recipes later on in the mod. So once those are done making, there you go, simple enough. Got all those recipes made. And once you've made, uh, once you've made ways to get all of these items, you're about ready to start making your ME system. And the ME system is where it starts getting pretty complicated. However, once you've done all this, you at least have all the materials and uh, prior knowledge to how to make an ME system. So that should be the basics of Applied Energistics 2. Uh, as I said in the next episode, we'll be going over how to make an ME system, and you'll need all this stuff. But until then, feel free to put any questions you have in the comments or any feedback you have. Uh, until next time, this is Aspect. See you in episode two.